Hey, what's up guys? Got a video showing you what I've been doing with my dump trailer. Um, I converted it to my mowing trailer. Uh, most reasons that I didn't do that before was because of the figuring out a way to get the walker into the back. Uh, you know, they have different combination gates and uh, different setups, but I ended up making my own setup, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, which was kind of the biggest hurdle to get over. Uh, my idea with this is it's going to be my kind of everything trailer. It's going to be a mowing trailer. Obviously, it's a dump trailer. Um, I'm also going to make it uh, an enclosed trailer of sorts. Uh, the equipment that's on the outside obviously won't be enclosed. I can cover that if need be or just bring it inside. Uh, but the stuff inside, uh, because it has the four-foot walls on the inside, uh, my plan is I'm going to add uh, two feet uh, it already has the, the stake, po stake pockets already <clears throat> to add that. So I'm going to add two feet all the way around. And I'm going to get some type of tarp that is weather tight as opposed to the breathable tarp. Um, I don't know if I'm going to roll it up with that one together or use it separate or what I may do. But uh, the idea is when there's two feet higher, I'll be able to just take that tarp and just pull it right over the hole. Uh, the whole top and I can leave the mower and grass or whatever I might have in there outside and you know to act as an enclosed trailer of sorts uh, I won't be as you know weather tight and as dry as a real enclosed trailer but for for this needs it'll it'll be fine uh, so it actually it's the first day mowing with it and uh, you can see some of the grass that I've collected this was just uh, mowing today plenty of room uh, you know, I can still pack that up two, three times what you see here and uh, the mower could still move forward on top of that. So, you know, I basically just drive up, dump right into the back. Um, I actually, if this works out as well as uh, it looks like it is, I may get rid of the high lift system on the mower. Uh, I'm not sure on that yet, but I had been using in the past. I've been using the, uh, got it in the back here, the... Uh, load handler tarp set up in the back of the truck so it's kind of nice to not have to deal with that mess in the back of the truck uh, so what i ended up doing uh, i mounted uh the, you can see there's just one bolt kind of holding it's still very very sturdy with only the one bolt on the top uh, into the side because i have these bolted in here right through the, the fender that's really solid on this but the racks worked out really nice uh, on the side of this i was actually pretty happy with that i think it looks good and uh, I already had them, so there's, uh, you know, I got a place for one more uh, tool there as well. I haven't really put uh, anything else but the hand tool rack on this side. I ended up reversing it upside down and bolting it to the bottom of the rail here, which worked out amazing, very sturdy. And uh, that's kind of that side there. I'm planning to add my um, small gas can holder here as well as the uh a handheld blower rack i'm not going to do the uh what is it the backpack blower rack because it's just too big i don't want to i want to keep the same profile going down the road as it is you can see this trimmer head sticks out a little bit and then pretty much the rest of it is is even besides just that uh the, the uh the guide on the sh on the trimmer so, but I'll show you what I ended up doing with this uh, ramp setup. It gives me two options. Uh, I've got hinges down here, and then I have hinges up here that hold it up. Uh, so the idea is I undo the top hinges and I can pull the ramps down. Um, they're close enough where the center tire for the walker doesn't fall through the opening. I've been kind of tweaking that. Uh, I actually may convert to the double tail wheel, the spread tail wheel on the walker which will eliminate this altogether. Uh, what I did is I actually have a piece of plywood that's cut on each of these ramps and I have them overlapping a little to close up that gap a little but that's as tight as I could get the ramps together uh, with without uh, not it not being wide enough either. So this idea I was able to use the ramps that already came with the trailer that slide in here. Um, I can still disconnect them uh, no harm done and slide them back in there without the piece of plywood on them. Uh, if I want to go back to the traditional way of, of using the ramps and uh, they also still attach 
right on this bar here if I wanted to pull a skid steer or some type of heavier machinery. So I didn't affect the usage of the ramps in any way. So let me, uh, I'll set you up and show you how I have it set up. I'll first hinge them down so you can see how I got that working. And then um, I'll connect those hinges back up and disconnect the bottom hinges to swing the door open to, to dump. Start out with the dumping, so. These hinges are a little tight right now. That's the hinge basically disconnects this ramp. And now we're able to use the door traditionally. The ramp stays right with the door. And then I can go ahead and, and dump that way. I'll show you how I have this hinge set up. It can't fall off my ugly welds but uh, this is the way it's set up basically locks locks the uh, the gate in right here on the bottom got the hinge right here so so that's how you'd open it up to dump it and then And there's how we'd have our gate. I'll have one one way, and that's the other. So with both of the ramps on there, I'm able to drive the walker right in and out without a problem. And when I go to dump, I don't have to wrestle with the uh, I don't have to wrestle with the ramps. It just stays right on the door like that with this hinge. So I'm still tweaking a little bit, working with the tolerances. You know, some of the areas are a little tight. I had it all set up without the plywood at first and uh, everything was working pretty good. But now that I added the plywood, it tightened things up a little bit. So this rear hinge is a little tight as you saw me to, uh, to get it out. But let me go ahead and put it back up and show you. It's not too bad. This isn't that heavy either, which is nice. See, that's nice and solid. And then... Pull that hinge. And we can open it right up. back up obviously as those hinges wear in be a little easier to do they're really tight right now a little stiff so we'll go ahead and uh lube those up and but yeah so that's what i've been using and uh it's been working out really well pretty happy with it so uh be nice if i could get away with just one trailer at one point i had three maybe even four trailers to do all different things the only thing i can't do with this is pull a car i mean i guess i could do a put probably a small car or something in there but um i don't have like a, a large equipment trailer Obviously, I can haul a skid steer or whatever in here, no problem. But if it was over, you know, the 14 feet in length, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't fit. So, but yeah, that's my uh, enclosed trailer or dump trailer that's going to be an enclosed trailer. Like I said I'll be putting probably two two by 12s, or you know, that they're actually 11 and a half inches. Yeah, it'd be close to two feet. That's close enough. Raise that up about two feet all the way around, which will raise up that wall, and. Uh, that point just pulling the tarp over and 
by standing up in here with that extra two feet will give us six feet of clearance headroom up here to be able to walk around in here and then I can leave the mower and uh, you know any type of equipment that I want to especially over the winter it'd be nice to keep, keep the stuff out of the shop put this outside now I can fill it up with equipment that I don't need in the winter just want to add on this is how I actually set it up without the plywood these are just sitting in here loosely with the two boards holding it from shifting so they come right off so I pulled this one off just to show you how uh, the ramp is supposed to work with the hinges still a little tight but it's uh, a lot better than on my last attempt Gives you a better idea of how it was designed. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'd like to close these off. I might, I don't want to add too much weight to them. That's why I have the plywood on there. Um, I'm able to drive the walker up without the plywood. The wheels actually rust right on these ribs here. And if I'm a little offset, I can have the wheel ride on this, but just afraid of this gap right here. Uh, with that tail wheel being able to get stuck in between it doesn't but uh, on a continual basis I don't want to I don't want to risk it I want something a little more safer than that so I'll figure out something uh, something with that but yeah like I said it's uh, like that ramp can slide right back under there and uh, they can be forgotten about and it can be used as a regular dump trailer again no harm done so it just added to its functionality which I thought was pretty good I mean, the whole thing cost me under $100 just in hardware and whatnot because I already had the ramps. Originally, I was thinking about constructing this big, crazy, you know, two-part ramp with, you know, hinge areas and, and, you know, I've looked up all kinds of things online to come up with ideas. And, uh, you know, you can set it up so it's one big gate, you know, with a spring assist that hinges at the bottom and hinges at the top. So when you go to dump, it opens up. But then I wasn't able to raise it up a couple of feet you know i would have had to put the hinge up there which is where the wood is and just a whole a whole nightmare so this ended up uh, being a good way to go where i can still retain the, the barn door style and have those ramps uh, which i can un unhinge on the bottom and clip on anywhere if i want the only reason i have them hinged is as you know doing lawns over and over during the day i don't want to be carrying those ramps sliding them out each time and clipping them on uh, these this way i can just use them as a regular gate so that would just get, uh, that would get crazy to be, you know, sliding them out each time or even putting them in the back or whatever. You know, they're pretty heavy. They're probably, I don't know, I'd guess maybe 80 pounds or something like that. They're doable, but not something you're going to want to wrestle with all day long, every, you know, 10, 15, 20 lawns a day. So that's why they're on a hinge. All right. Thanks for watching.